On the entrepreneur journey, you are learning all the time. That's why it's called the journey. On the journey, you're learning each step as you go along. You're learning from your mistakes. You're learning from the journey and you're learning from your experience. Keep learning along the journey. Find out how you can improve yourself in your life. Prove your character. Prove your bad habits. Be conscious about everything you do. Be aware. Have you got bad habits which you could improve and learn and better yourself and get rid of them bad habits and start new good habits to make yourself a better person and better in life. It's all about learning. And that's what I'm doing on the entrepreneur journey is learning as I go along. That's why I call my channel the entrepreneur journey because I'm experiencing it as I'm doing it and learning the mistakes and learning everything about moving forward and bettering myself. I'm always thinking of ways to better myself and improve myself. When I was young, as I said in one of my videos, I had learning difficulties when I was young. I couldn't speak properly. I couldn't pronounce the words. And still to this day, you'll hear that I can't pronounce the words. I don't fully pronounce the words to this day. So I had a, a speech problem. It took me a long time to um, get my words out. I used to go to, at that time, a special needs teacher to learn how to speak. I had reading difficulties. I had um, learning difficulties. And they were trying to find out why I couldn't learn or read. The teacher at that time spent about two years and she got no further with me. I didn't progress like I should. And she actually said, I don't know what's wrong with Peter. I can't teach him. He's not grasping what I'm teaching. He's doing the same old habits and the same things over and over again. And he's unteachable. So they sort of like give up on me at that time. The schools and the system give up on me. And um, it was only later on in life they found out the problem was that I had a unique hearing problem. A very unique hearing problem that I cannot hear certain sounds of words such as the end of the words, the sounds, what you hear, t and sir, and the t, t and the sounds of the words, like words, s, s, that type of thing. I can't hear that, and I've never been able to hear that because of a very unique hearing problem. My hearing's very good in the normal sense, but behind that, they found out that I had this unique deafness and that was the problem at the school the school didn't find out they thought i was illiterate they possibly even thought i had dyslexia maybe i'd had a slight dyslexia but i improved myself and still improving to this day i taught myself um how to speak and how to read because i knew that were a problem no one else could teach me, so I taught myself very, very slowly. Are you learning? Are you improving yourself? Be very brutal and be very critical about yourself. Look at your bad habits and say, yeah, I do that. I don't want to do that anymore. I'm going to stop that. I'm still learning on the journey 
and improving myself. There's one thing I'm still learning and I've been learning all the time is about speaking. To this day, my speaking is still not up to scratch what I want it to be. On some of the videos, you lay, I'm not pronouncing still some words. I'm not making any excuses about the defect. That in the reason why I've mentioned that. I just know that that was a problem. I found out the problem, which improved myself. I knew there were a problem. So that made me feel good about myself so I can better myself because I knew there was something there what no one could understand and I couldn't understand it. But now I know the problem and now I know I can better it. So I'm still improving on the videos. I watch myself on the videos and sometimes on the videos um, and this isn't an excuse. I don't like making excuses. Making excuses is bad. I don't I find solutions. I'm hard with myself. I'm brutal with myself. Some of my speeches in my videos is terrible, but the content's fantastic. Just because I'm not speaking clearly like some people can. Listen to the content. The content is brilliant. The content is through my experiences. I will improve on my speech problem. I'm working on that, working very, very hard. I've started to learn on the journey about public speaking. I'm getting every book you can think of and watching every video you can think. And I'm studying it. And you'll see that I will improve on the journey with my speech through the videos. Watch my videos and you'll see my speech improving. I'm conscious about how I speak. A lot of my videos I found out, I cringe sometimes, but as I said, the content's great. But um, I cringe because I do sometimes do a lot of ums and ahs, um, mm, um, meh, meh, do that. And I'm conscious about it now and I'm learning all the time. And I am trying to improve that and stop the ums and ahs because it really does make your speech look um, not flowing so I'm learning how to public speak I'm learning how to do body language while I'm speaking and improve what are you improving and you know what I had to be brutal about that I had to look at myself and says you can't speak speak properly successful people speak fluently fast and tones and speak you've got to learn this you rubbish at it and I have to be really brutal and honest about that. You be brutal about your bad habits. Stop putting it off. Stop pretending that you're good at something when you're not. Tell yourself you're rubbish at it. Be really criticising yourself. There's only you what can criticise you. Don't let anyone else criticise you because their opinion is not your reality. Their opinion doesn't mean a thing. It's only you. So find your bad habits and improve on that, work on that, study it. If you have to study like I'm studying public speaking and body language to improve my speech. And I will improve my speech. You'll see it on the videos on the journey. You'll see my videos and the way I speak come across absolutely fantastic. I'm going to get rid of the erms and the ahs what I put in some of my videos now I'm aware of it and I'm conscious of it and I'm reading books on how to really public speak and not be afraid at speaking, not be afraid. If I can speak in front of a camera and put myself out there to you people out there, the world, so you can see my defects and I have a speech problem, knowing full well, and this is not an excuse, that you guys could criticise me. I put myself in front of the camera and I'm learning all the time. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of it. I will improve it. Now I'm speaking in front of cameras. I actually speak to people and 
I'm authentic. If I make a mistake, then I make a mistake and I hope people understand. The content what I give out is fantastic. But to improve myself, I want to do it for me. So that's why I'm learning. I know you've got to be authentic and possibly even say, well, don't worry about your speech problem. It's not coming over that bad and stop worrying about it. But it's not about worrying about it. It's that I want to improve me. It's for me to improve myself. Are you improving yourself? Are you being really honest and brute with yourself about your flaws, about your mistakes, about you yourself? Can you improve on your personality, your character and your bad habits? Stop doing them and improve them. And if it takes you to learn and study like I am with public speaking, then do that. Thanks for watching. Keep watching Peter Corrigan, The Entrepreneur Journey. Give me comments, give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Let's go on this journey together and learn together. We've got a lot to learn. I don't think on the journey you ever stop learning. I think the journey just carries on and carries on. That's why I love it. I love the journey, but I do like getting the results from the journey as well. Keep watching, subscribe, and remember everyone, you take care of each other. Bye-bye.